Okay, we do a complete 180 from a kid's film to a horror film about kids, and it's entitled Orphan. And this film is in the grand tradition of films such as, most notably, The Omen. And, well, here's an obscure reference for all of you, 1992's Mikey, which had the great tagline in its advertisements, Freddy and Jason were kids once, too. But those films, however, in my eyes, were quite subpar, even The Omen. And despite good performances from the ones who played the kids in those films, Isabel Furman is so haunting as Esther here in The Orphan that she makes Damien from The Omen and Mikey look like the family from Cheaper by the Dozen by comparison. So for parents who are wanting to adopt, I suggest you do not see this film because it is so scary it will haunt you from even thinking about it. Now on the surface, of course, Esther seems like the perfect child. She's very smart and she's very well-rounded in the arts for her young age. But of course, this is one of the movies with many cliches. The mother, Kate, played very well by Vera Farmiga, is portrayed as a paranoid freak who's losing her mind when she believes Esther is the one to blame for a series of heinous events and acts that start to take place. Uh, Peter Sarsgaard, who I've loved in films such as Jarhead, Flight Plan, and Salt and Sea, is quite effective in his role as John, a man who seems to want to believe his wife, but is truly unconvinced by her crazed actions. Um, and I don't think that this movie about an adoption casts any coincidence that the couple's name is John and Kate. <laughs> anyway, the reason for Kate's uh, erratic actions seem to stem around the fact that the family just suffered a terrible tragedy, losing a baby, and she has been a train wreck ever since. Uh, so, of course, it's a cliche movie rule that everyone ought to think she's crazy. The movie's scares start out as just some cheap rehashes from films I've named and I've known a million others, but yet as this film steadily progresses, I found myself into the characters in this film and was just hypnotized by the performance by 12-year-old Isabel Furman, who in reality doesn't actually look like a creepy kid. I just um, saw pictures of her at the premiere. But in this film, she seems to look like one 24-7, and, it's very unrel and it, she's very unrelenting. A, a film like this has to be careful because many horror films shamelessly exploit a lot of the many aspects that this film has, and it could have easily taking the simple, mean-spirited route that many other films have and just and was just horribly scary for the wrong reasons and not in the right way. But somehow this movie does a good job of, uh, of escaping it. Now, at a time where horror movies have been hit or miss, this year has been full of really ambitious films that just have something missing. But for some reason here, the ambition meets its goal. And while this film may be far from perfect, its effectiveness exceeds that. And that's one of the things I liked about it. I also have to give credit, major credit here to Sarsgaard, who I think is a very underrated actor, and as he was very good in one of 2005's best films, Jarhead, and was overlooked come Oscar time for supporting actor, is in a role that would normally be written as just background fodder for the plot, and really not add anything, but we see the gradual build of his character, that he's not just some husband who thinks his wife's crazy, we know he loves his wife, and the fact that he thinks that she's acting crazy really bothers him. Sarsgaard gives the character of John a lot more dimension than most films would give him, because, it, well, it may not be... The dad always, but usually in most of these movies, you have the one parent who's again just painted in the background for the sake of what's going on. Uh, Farmiga is very well cast too, and she doesn't go over the top with this role as the mother. And there were many times in this film I thought that she was that that was going to happen, but she just kept it at the level tone, and she kept it at a tone that a film like this must require. I can't say enough great things about young Isabel Furman as Esther. I, as her haunting performance here, just blows anything from the Omen films. I had to offer right out of the water. This is a great big screen debut for her, and I look forward to what this new child actress on the block has to offer. I give Orphan three stars out of five.